Welcome to the Family Law Channel here on the Legal Broadcast Network. Uh, the death of Whitney Houston was a shock to many. Her estate now is up for grabs. We have learned that uh, the estate may be simply uh, decided by a simple will, and her estate is in the neighborhood of 10 to $20 million. And also someone by the name of Bobby Brown would like to get his hands on some of that. The family is contesting a lot of what's going on. Uh, my guest is the host of FLC, uh, retired Judge Eugene Hyman, Superior Court, Santa Clara, California. Judge Hyman, welcome back. Thank you. You know, uh, most people think it, it is enough to have a simple will here, but in a case like this, especially not just because of the size of what her estate might be and what it could be later on because of the sale of, of, of her music, uh, we're talking about the likelihood that her estate is going to her daughter, although she's 18. Does the average 18-year-old know what to do with 10 to $20 million in, in the case that this might be decided by a simple will? Absolutely. There's several uh, issues that are presented. Um, one has to do with, of course, um, uh, tax planning. A, a simple will, uh, when you're talking about that kind of money, is uh, never the way to go because it's going to be taxed at a much higher rate. Secondly, um, what's interesting is whether or not she had the will um, rewritten or modified after she uh, was divorced from Bobby Brown. Um, if she didn't, and if he is uh, can receive inheritance, then it becomes a very interesting question. Uh, most states have laws that uh, when parties are divorced, that it takes uh, some kind of an additional affirmative action on the part of the uh, will will writer uh, to be able to inherit, and, and some states don't. So that's a very individualized uh, thing. And then it depends upon where the will was written. Was it written in New Jersey where it's going to be probated, uh, at least uh, in theory, because that's where uh, she, uh, that was her home, uh, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So is it going to be probated there? Is it going to be probated uh, someplace else? And what will the laws of that particular state be? Mm -hmm. But the real important question, whether or not um, her daughter uh, is going to be able to uh, have complete control of the money right now, um, Let's assume hypothetically that they did not set up some she did not set up some type of a trust for her daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, then, given the fact that the daughter is going into rehab would suggest to me that um, someone in the family needs to go to court uh, to be able to have at least the estate. Uh, her estate conserved. There's two kinds of conservatorships. One is over the person, and the other one is over their estate. And that doesn't mean just in the event of death. The state can be, you know, while you're alive in terms of your assets. Clearly, she needs to have some kind of a conservatorship for her estate. She's not capable of managing money, especially if she needs rehab, uh, assuming she gets it. And even if she isn't getting rehab, then she especially needs it, since she isn't really able to manage her financial resources. Now, uh, in closing here, would, as you, as you say, a trust obviously would have been a, a great I idea here, especially considering that there would be more money coming into the estate as time goes on? Ab absolutely. But then there's also you know, spending the money that, uh, that she has now. So mm -hmm. I, I predict that there's going to be uh, potential litigation between her biological father mm -hmm. uh, and her mother. See, one of the things you also want to do in an estate plan is um, lay out some kind of a proposal in terms of who should manage the money mm -hmm. for a young uh, child like uh, Bobby Brown, um, who should... Uh, who should be able to decide when she needs the money mm -hmm. to disperse the money. And usually it isn't the uh, the father uh, when there's been a, uh, a divorce in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. It might be her mother, but she needs to have someone mm -hmm. uh, controlling it. And uh, I predict that it's going to wind up going to some kind of a probate court for that purpose. And did, didn't Bobby Brown, uh, her, her ex-husband, didn't he try to get a piece of her wealth at one point? I believe so, yes. And that so that would be additional evidence for a probate judge in terms of determining because while in some states a uh, a parent would get a presumption in mm -hmm. terms of being able to be the uh, conservator, uh, the important thing is that the daughter is an adult, so that is going to be less applicable um, over an adult versus if the child were under 18. And, and secondly, given the fact that they're divorced again, the takeaway item from this is that when you're going through 
uh, a divorce, that you should express your preferences in your will in terms of how you want things done in the in the event that the person is a young uh, child at the time of uh, your uh, passing. Because otherwise, uh, it's possible that the person that you don't want to have control could. Well, let this be a lesson to you if you have a state of $20 million. Make sure that you take <laughs> well, care of the doesn't even no. take 20 million. No. I mean, I suggest to um, to your viewers that even a person that has a home mm -hmm. where there's the possibility of inheriting that and you're talking about 10 to 20, 50,000 dollars, even that you should have some kind of a contingency plan right. so that the uh, child doesn't get all that money at once. Judge Hyman, thank you so much. Thank you. You're watching the Family Law Channel here on the Legal Broadcast Network.